Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Kavya and in case you're new, I have just started my YouTube channel. It's been only two weeks and this is the third video. And if you've not yet hit the subscribe button, now is a good time. So hit the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any video update from me because today is not a Thursday and I am here with a brand new video. So I put together this look around two and a half to three weeks ago and I shared it on my Instagram and so many of you sent me so many DMs asking me what products I had used, how, how did I go about this, asking me for a tutorial and I thought what better time than now to share this with you guys because Valentine's Day is tomorrow and this look is just so glamorous and perfect for a date night, if you're going out with your girlfriends or even if you have a Sangeet or a cocktail night coming up. And honestly, I am so nervous putting my first makeup tutorial on this channel but I really hope you guys enjoy this video and find it helpful because honestly this whole smoky glittery eye makeup look is really not that difficult and I've tried to keep it super simple so without wasting any further time, let's get started. So I'm starting by using the L'Oreal eyeshadow palette in Nude Rose, picking up this colour that is really close to my skin colour and smudging it on both my eyelids to make sure that I have a uniform base. Nothing too fancy here, we're just creating a base for your eyeshadow. I'm now using the L'Oreal Infallible Paints eyeshadow in the shade 300. I'm using the darker of the two shades, putting a really small quantity on my outer eyelid and then using my fingers, I'm going to try and blend it all out completely. So don't try to be too neat or anything with this. Just use your fingers and try to stick within the lines and smudge it all out. I'm going to apply the same technique on my other eye. Take a small quantity, use my fingers and just make sure that both the eyes look as close to each other as possible and try and blend this out. Just taking a little bit of extra eyeshadow to make sure that it's as deep as the one on the other eye and blending it all out. Now I'm going back to my L'Oreal palette and picking up this grey shade to simply blend out all the harsh lines that there were when I worked the eyeshadow with my fingers. So just take your time and work on the step carefully because this is going to make sure that your eyeshadow looks really blended and seamless on the edges. Now that I think I'm happy with how it's looking, I'm going to go ahead with my Huda Beauty Smoky Obsessions palette, picking up this metallic silver shade and I cannot tell you guys just how beautiful and pigmented this color is just look at this just one stroke and it works like magic so i'm going to slowly try and build up the metallic silver color on my eyelids as you can see i am simply pressing the color onto my eyelids and i'm slowly blending it all out so i'm going to continue the step move on to the inner rim of my eye for that little sparkly glow right there and continue packing on the color until I like how it looks and it feels pigmented and statement enough. Gonna simply repeat exactly the same procedure on my other eye. Keep packing on the color and blending it on with the darker shade, the L'Oreal color until it creates this beautiful seamless look. Now that I'm almost done with the silver color, I am just packing on some color on both the eyelids to make sure that they look as similar as possible. I'm now using this black shade from my Smoky Obsessions Huda palette to add a lot more depth and dimension to my eyeshadow. I've realized how this one step can make so much of a difference to how your eyeshadow looks. Also, I forgot to mention that I have already done my base and my foundation off the camera before I started this tutorial to save on time. I'm now taking the brown shade from the Huda palette simply to create a transition basically from the silver to the darker black to a more neutral palette blending into my skin. I'm going back now to my L'Oreal palette and popping on this color onto my high points and just look at that. This one step can totally transform your eye makeup look, making it look so much more complete and glamorous. Now I'm going ahead and basically just buffing out everything with a very clean brush so as to make sure that it's all well blended and seamless. Taking this dark grey shade from the L'Oreal palette, I'm going to simply 
define my lower lash line and try and blend it all together so that it looks complete. Going to repeat the same step on the other eye. I'm now going to go ahead with my plum kajal in the shade black to tight line my upper lash line and also use it to well define my lower lash line. I've noticed how people often skip tight lining their upper lash line but trust me this one step can make so much of a difference to how your eye eventually looks. I'm now using my L'Oreal Infallible Eyeliner and gonna create a very thin line just barely there but it really makes a difference when you go ahead to apply your mascara. I'm gonna repeat the same on the other eye. I'd ideally have loved to use fake eyelashes but I wanted to keep this look really simple and I know a lot of you cannot do that so I'm going to totally skip the fake lashes and trust my volume million mascara to go ahead and amp up my lash game. So going to layer and layer until I'm satisfied and apply the same technique onto my other eye. I'm now going to go ahead and also define my lower lashes so that it all comes together effortlessly. And with this step, we are almost done with our eyes, so it's time to move on to the skin. I'm using the Catrice Bronzer. I actually picked this up from Dubai. I'm not too sure if these products are available in India, but as you can see, I've hit pan on this one and it works like magic. Just going to contour my cheeks, nothing too much, just basic contouring to create some depth. I'm now using the Nykaa Get Cheeky Blush in the shade Cali Chick, using the teeniest, tiniest amount to add a flush of color to my cheeks i don't want this to be too much since i want my eyes to do the talking so just gonna go ahead and blend it all together another product that's hit pan has to be my makeup revolution blush and glow palette i'm simply using the shade to all of the high points on my face the bridge of my nose my cheeks and a highlighter has got to be one of my favorite steps in makeup I love how it automatically transforms your makeup look in seconds and adds so much of glow and drama. I'm going to go ahead and also apply the highlighter to my cupid's bow because once you apply the lipstick you will notice as to how much of a difference this step also makes. Using my Huda Beauty liquid matte lipsticks in the shade bombshell. I wanted to go with nude lips since the eyes are super dramatic so I'm just going to use my lip liner and outline my lips very well so as to create the perfect base for my liquid lipstick and then taking a bit of icon I'm going to start by applying the lipstick on my lips. I found that this shade was looking a little too pale so I went ahead with my Huda Beauty in the shade Icon. Now this shade really flatters my complexion and I love how it added some warmth to the otherwise cold tone look. I'm now going ahead with my Smashbox Primer Spray. I use it as a finishing spray often and I'm going to spritz it all over my face. I'm just going to let it dry all up and I realized that I wanted to add a little more color to my cheeks so I'm just going ahead with applying a little more blush and I think we are good to go. So that was my final look. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and if you did, please don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button and leave your comment below if you have any other suggestions because I am listening and there's so much that I want to do on this channel and I want to work on so many more tutorials and ideas. So if you have any, leave them below and I'm definitely going to start working on them. Until the next time, bye!